Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to make a cool intro with smoke using Adobe After Effects. This is a really handy trick to kind of give a really atmospheric entrance to your movie or something like that. Uh, the same technique can also be used to um, kind of fade in objects, to have smoke overlaying objects in your scene, whatever you would like to use. I'm using text in this though for an intro. So here I've got my composition completed and you can see as I, as I play this, it's got the smoke rolling across the screen and the text almost looks like it's being revealed and partially hidden by the smoke. It's a very kind of cool look. So what I'm going to be using for this, for the uh, base smoke particles, is Particular. Um, it's really one of the best plugins that I've found for making a really organic looking smoke. So I've got a couple different layers and they're pretty much identical. What I've got is I've got the Particular effect with a fast blur underneath of it. So if I turn the fast blur off, you can see essentially all that we have are a bunch of particular particles coming out. The size and shape of these particles is completely up to you. The important part is that I've changed it from sort of a uniform to a directional emitter. And I've also you know, put it so that it's shooting out to the side. But you'll see that the text here is red underneath the Y rotation. Let's open that up and take a quick look. All right, so the Y rotation, I've actually put in an expression to wiggle it. And what this basically looks like is if you can imagine holding a garden hose or a fire extinguisher, and you're just moving it up and down like that. So instead of the particles coming out in a straight line, they've got a little bit of a disturbance in their path right at the very beginning, like a water wave. And the emitter is off to the side, so you don't actually see the particles being created. But you can see that that wave look in them where you've got some outliers up top and some down below and it's varying the density through the middle. Then what you do is you apply a fast blur. I'm going also remember to check, repeat, edge pixels. And you can create a very effective looking smoke or it's like a slow blowing smoke across. So that's the basis of our effect. Underneath of this, bring this panel up a little bit, we've got our text and it just says smoky. This second layer here is where the magic comes in. It's essentially just the first layer, but it's set to stencil alpha. So if we turn both, the, uh, both of them on together, the particles and the text, you can see the particles are being revealed uh, by the text like a cookie cutter. So the particles only show up when they're over the text. Um, it's, it's a little bit difficult to explain which one is affecting which, but essentially the text becomes like it's made out of smoke, but it's held inside the bounds of the letters. So you get a kind of a varying density inside the text, but by duplicating the layer, that density reflects the smoke that you see on the screen. So um, I've actually taken this and we set it back to normal. The particles here are a bit less, so I've lowered the particle count a little bit. I've also lowered the blur a little bit to increase the contrast. The more blur that you have on these particles, the kind of softer they'll look. I've increased the contrast so that the letters will stand out a little bit better. But if we turn that blur back on and set this back to stencil alpha, you can see the letters are just kind of being revealed by that smoke. And we'll turn the smoke layer on up top. And there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create a cool smoke intro using Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.